So feeding information from your Power App Canvas into your um, Power Automate and running things and collecting different things and creating different um, reports and things like that, it's actually pretty easy. Don't be intimidated by it. Follow these simple steps I'm gonna go through and I think you'll be in good shape. So the first step, first step is we wanna create these boxes. Now these happen to be text input boxes. This could be a drop down, could be anything, but here we're keeping it real simple. Text input, text input, okay? Now notice here we've, we've labeled them var email and var name. It's important because I like to keep things labeled the same way. So keep, put this in there. You can put a little button in there, send email, okay? And now save your changes and close this app. So save the changes, close the app. Then step two, go to Power App. Excuse me, Power Automate. Inside of Power Automate, using those same variable names, let's go ahead and name uh, two variables. So here, remember, I'm just doing um, initialize the variable right here. That's what I've done here, initialize variable, and I've named it var email, and then rename it. So before you add the value to it here, I usually add the name first, and once I get done with the name, I just hit copy. I go up here to rename, paste, and then I assign it as a string, and then I assign the value to it. Now, when I assign the value to it, the value is um, right here. So let me show you. Click on here, it's right down here at the bottom. It'll say ask in Power Apps. Now I've already named these, so I'm not gonna do that again, but ask in Power Apps. And this is a little sensitive, so you have to be careful kind of how, how you're doing everything. But here, we're gonna do the same thing with var name. So we've got this flow, it's very simple. Um, we can run a test on it, just to make sure that everything is working right and the variables are feeding. And they should, this, this is really kind of a no brainer. Um, we're collecting two variables. We're telling it Power Apps, but it, it just needs some information right now. We're gonna wire this into Power Apps in just a moment. We're just gonna go ahead and run the flow and say done. And of course it will run in a second, you know, just real fast and there you go. So that's working great, okay? So at this point, I just save uh, the changes and I close out uh, the, the flow. I just close the flow. And I go over to Power Apps, I restart Power Apps. So this is kind of step number three. Step number one was create the, the input areas. Step number two was to create uh, the flow. And then step number three here is to restart Power Apps and add this. So you just go right here to the Power Automate and click on Add Flow. And, and then you'll see the flow that hasn't been added. Now this one, I already added it, it's right there, okay? So we're good to go. Now a lot of times, if you forget the step to close down Power Apps and restart it, it's not uncommon that when you go here to flow, it's not gonna be there for you. So just keep that as a best practice, it works pretty well. Okay, now all we have to do is wire this thing up. We just gotta remember, this is var name, and this is var email, we've added the flow here to our Power App. Uh, wiring it up is pretty easy. We're just gonna click on our button now and we're just gonna type in PM2 active and there it is right there, okay? Now, what's cool about this is once I do that, do you notice here, it tells me what to type. Now, I'm, it's asking for the value of var email. Well, because I named my items, my boxes, the same in both places, this is pretty easy. I know that it's just var email is the first one. So I've got that value, okay, comma. And then it's now it's asking for the name value and I know that one, var name, good, and done. Now, when I run this flow here, excuse me, when I run this app, what's gonna happen is it's gonna feed in the information into my flow. So let's go ahead and just close this flow out real quick and we're gonna watch what happens here uh, when we run it. So let's go ahead and hit run. And we're just gonna say, uh, we're gonna put in instead, we're gonna put in Sam and we're gonna put in sam at uh, gmail.com.
okay? Because it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and hit send. Now it's gonna go ahead and process that request. It's gone ahead and done that. Here, we're gonna go ahead and refresh to see if the, the flow is actually flowing. It did. It didn't take a whole lot of time there. We're gonna go in and now we're gonna just check this flow. There it is, Sam at Gmail and the name is Sam. And that is literally as simple as it is to wire in your uh, Power Automate flows right into your canvas of your Power app. It's very simple. Now from this point in this flow, I've got it all tested. Everything's good to go. The variables are passing properly. Now I can get on, for example, with the additional business that I need to do, right? I need to create an HTML table and, and do some get items that are filtered based upon that name variable. All of that stuff now I can do because I know that my connection between Power Apps and Power Automate is solid. Good luck.